Hey yo, what's up and what's good everybody? First off, Happy New Year to you guys if you didn't see my Happy New Year video. This is just my quick interruption on the Cub Foods, the abandoned Cub Foods in the Greenbrier slash Atlanta area. Basically this opened as a Cub Foods alongside the Greenbrier Mall. And as the Greenbrier Mall essentially declined and lost more and more sales due to really competition in the general area, Cub Foods closed. It became a few trade colleges, which both of them failed, and now it sits here abandoned. Now, it's still in the state of when it was a college. They didn't demolish it. They just left it sit there, and it looks like a pretty odd building. Um, Cub Foods never relocated. They just closed the store down. This was back way in the 80s, 90s timeline. So it just sits here in its glory, if you will. <laughs> abandoned glory. But that's pretty much it. Not really much on this place. It was an old grocery store, then it closed, and they changed it to two colleges, which both failed in their own respective ways. I mean, that's really all I can describe it as. They didn't, I couldn't find any more information about the place. So, with that being said, enjoy the video. One more thing is that actually just recently the Macy's was announced to close at Greenbrier Mall, leaving only one anchor, which is the 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 beauty salon in the former circuit city yo what's good everybody so right now i'm at this abandoned place right here i have no idea what it used to be in my uh, other video the burlington video i know i said maybe it was a target because of the stripes and all but you know maybe it w maybe it wasn't <clears throat> okay i don't know what this place used to be um we'll scar for yourself so well, obviously, when I have this video up, I'm not going to put it as just abandoned place. You know, I'm going to have to find some information on it. But um, if any of you have any any uh, additional information on this place, feel free to comment it below. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check this place out. So, yeah, I've done, basically, I've documented this entire mall that's abandoned. Not the mall itself, because the mall is closed um, for the day. But... All the other abandoned places that are outside of it are, uh, I filmed. See, now, this entire building, I don't believe, was dedicated to a doctor's office because that's what it looks like in there. And then there's a massage center on the end. Hopefully I can cut out some of that glare for you. But yeah, not checking these doors. This this building looks like, like, ah. Man, can I talk right, man? <laughs> this building looks like it received a facelift over the, over the time, at least on the inside. The outside looks faded. This paint, that blue paint looks faded. And, uh, reminds me almost of, like, a Gander Mountain with maybe the, 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 the pieces of, what is it? I, I don't know. It's not plastic, but it's not brick. Whatever this is used, to, whatever this is supposed to be right here, this stuff, maybe it is brick. Nope. Like 10 or something. Yeah, but yeah, you you see what I mean? Like, this place doesn't just doesn't look like it was like a doctor's office. Like, maybe this area over here was like a merchandise pickup area for what store it was. I don't know. I have no information as to what this used to be at the time of this filming. But you, you just see the parking areas and stuff like that. I don't think a doctor's office, even of this size building, would be... Uh, need this large parking lot now yes I do understand that that door here I'll, I'll let you guys get a view from the camera you can see all the way in there because that's a huge wasp nest I've had my fair share with wasps and hornets on this journey of doing filming it is not is that door open it is not in my uh intent to get stung by another one yeah that door is open guys but it's padlocked so we are not going to be getting in not that i'd want to get in and yep there's a yellow jacket nest <laughs> no sir that is not for me today and see there you go these were loading docks this proves that this was a store here's your loading docks your former loading bays right here and just to give you guys a and if confirmed that they're right there check that out you can see where the outlines of it were and it was bricked over
This was a big store. Like, there's another set of loading docks. Whatever this used to be was a large building. And I'm going to have to speak louder here because of the uh, interstates right next to me. I-20. The interstate that takes you through GA, through Alabama, and wherever else it goes. I've only been to those. And obviously South Carolina and Tennessee even if it goes that far. But yep, here were your other two loading docks that they boarded up. Loading bay is completely gone. And it looks like, was there actually another one right here? Maybe it was a doorway, a large doorway. And there's your ramp for whatever reason that was there. But yeah, man, there's really not much other than that front entrance that we could have seen inside of. Here's the Greenbrier and Mall sign. You can see Macy's is shining through, but you can hardly see what those other signs said. I can see restaurant, but I don't even know what the top sign said, so I have to do some research. Like I told you in the other video, this mall was the mall to go to in its prime time, and much like the surrounding areas, it's just gone down. So this red-looking building with a stripe on the top ahead of me right there used to be Circuit City. And, uh, you know, they've been long gone, but I wonder if there's any sort of remnants of Circuit City in there. So. Whatever this building was, it was really large, really large. Like I said, that's why I had, the, you know, speculations that it was Target. I don't believe Target would have picked this location, but, you know, a store like it, a department store type of building. Because there was no way this was built as a, uh, as a doctor's office. So, there you go. You see it right there. Altarius Career College. So, it's more than a doctor's office. I don't know why I thought it was a doctor's office. It's not. It is a college center. Walked into a spider web there. That's why I stopped talking. So I walked into a spider web. Gotta watch out for these places that aren't, you know, maintained and they just sit there for a while. Bugs make it their new home. So here we are, guys. Um, one more doorway. It says exit only, so there's really nothing that we can see. I'll still go and check it out if I ha if I can. If there's no bugs that want to stop me. Yep, there's another yellow jacket nest right on there. And I'm sorry, guys, if you guys say, oh, you know, you just need to watch out if you're, you know, this, that, and the other. And honestly, I understand, but you have to understand that I, you know, I respect my well-being and safety also. And I, do I don't want to be stung by any of those things because technically i'm bothering their area not them bothering mine so just respect all around so we've made our way back around to the front here's the massage therapy area which like i said this was this is what made me think that it was a doctor's office because of this Let's see if you can see anything on through the through those doors and there it's the long dark hallway and there you go Massage therapy. So, whatever store that this used to be, I really want to know because they've got, they had to have gutted it and then turned it into all these different separate you know rooms and areas and things in here. But the loading bays gave it away of what this place used to be. And those, first of all, there's a large <laughs> hornet nest right up there, and then those windows are covered up. So there's no seeing in there anyway. So we've made our way back around to the front here. Another nest. I mean, wow, this thing is infested with hornet and wasp nests. So I'm glad that I was able to look into the areas where those weren't. Made our way back around to the front here. And there you go. There's the front office. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video for what it is worth of this abandoned whatever that used to be you know you, clearly you'll see it in the title but as, as of filming this as of right here and now i have no clue of what this used to be so with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy this video
no guesses none as to what this used to be i said target but the more i look at it the more it becomes certain that this wasn't a target so i'll figure it out when i'm putting this video together i hope you guys did enjoy thanks for watching thanks so much for choosing z-man and being part of the z-man family and so i'll see you guys next time make the best of your every moment and peace Yeah. Won't you do myself? And I